Welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, everybody. So last time, we ended up entering the incredibly long Magma Cavern Dungeon. And in this episode, we hope to finish it and not actually get annihilated. You know, I would like to not get annihilated, I'm just saying. Okay, Billy's at 37. But that's not bad, because I have big apples anyway. So that's going to take care of things. Okay, um... I'm going to use Scratch. That was a critical hit, so I can actually just cure like this. Yep. Knew it. Alright, so here's the stairs. Do I need to heal? Hmm. Not really, but there we go. I healed anyway. And by healing again, I'm talking about pressing B and then A. So here's the stairs, actually. I'm going. Just... Okay, we got some experience. Yes, let's proceed. Let's get the hell out of here. 11th floor. I mean, the stairs are right there, but there are three enemies as well. Okay, you did 64 damage. Okay, you actually died, thank god. Um, I need to actually move this way. Wait, who got burned? Oh, Mayweather got burned. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Scratch. It's still alive, are you kidding me? Damn. Okay, now it's not. Oh, jeez. Friends, help me. I, I, I literally can't do anything, man. Here, help me out. Or not, okay. Um, so I need to use Scratch. You actually have a quadruple resistance to fire. Okay, well, you poisoned it. So thank god for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. It is worth doing this, though, because you are healing and then taking damage from the burn. Okay, get the hell out of here. Let's go. Because my cargo's here now. 12th floor. Oh, I can actually use this to heal some more. Arbok? Okay, how much... Oh, shoot. I really don't want... Oh, no. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now... Let's go to team. Tony moves. And how do I... Okay, that means you won't actually use that move. Is that what that means? I think it's what that means. You're actually mean to that. <laughs> but then secret power, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, I guess I'll take the money, sure. Okay, heal some more. Okay, get the hell out of here. No! Okay, that's actually fine. God, there's so many enemies, man. There's so many. Okay, so we didn't get as lucky now. The stairs are not next to us, as you can see. Getting hungry? Yeah, I see that. That's, that's fine, though. Okay, thank God. Silver Spike? What the hell is that? Okay, move diagonal. And just get the hell out of here. Just get out of here, man. This place is dangerous. Oh yes. Oh yes, man. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, man. These are monster houses. Um, they are actually very problematic. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. Shit. It's one of the mechanics that people hate the most about some roguelikes when they implement them like this and literally luck based. Because now I'm screwed. Um, there's not much I can actually do here. 
there literally isn't. Two, three, I can escape like that. There's just too many enemies, like, Apple's gonna get crushed, as you can see. I can escape by going diagonal up and diagonal down and then going to the right, but by that point, Apple's gonna die. The thing that I don't like about Reviver Teeth is that they revive in the same spot, so that's gonna cause Apple to just chain all my Reviver Teeth and spam them all, and I'm gonna run out. Um, I'm not sure if fighting is the best thing. Probably not, I'm just gonna say. But you never know. I mean, let's hope so. Let's hope that actually works. This is not gonna work, man. And if I miss one attack, I'm gonna be essentially screwed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, he's confused though, that guy over there. I'm just trying to think of what the hell I should even do here. I can kill this guy with a flamethrower. Yeah, so he's down. But... Okay, that's actually fine. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad, which is what you just did right there. And then you missed your attack. Yeah, that's fine. They're using a lot of normal attacks, so that's perfect on my part. Okay, so he already used one. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You can't miss. Because that meant that chick really could have done attack somebody else, man. Oh my god. Okay. Um... I'm going to attack you, I think. Okay, that's another one down. That's good, that's good. Don't use... Oh, actually, you have to do that. Never mind. Jesus Christ, man. Almost out of PP here. Well, the one good thing about dying is that I think your PP gets refilled all the way. If you die. If Chikori to die, it's not going to be the biggest problem in the world. Or even if I die once... Well, I can't really do much except flamethrower you, or I could move, but I don't want to waste a turn moving right now. I am not going to do that. You're confused. Okay, that's, that's kind of a good thing. I want to look at my team now. Let's look at Tony. Oh my god, man. The thing is, if I use a max elixir on you... I'm gonna have to unlink my moves. I'm gonna have to fight Grana with unlinked moves with Tony. I have no choice. But I mean, I literally don't have a choice. That's the thing. Okay, he's down. Okay, he's down too. I mean, thank God. And then that one's down. Thank... Okay. Whew. I'm doing a lot better now. I guess we'll go this way, sure. Wait, Mayweather was fully healed? Oh, he used the... Oh, that's right. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. I wanted to use Scratch and I accidentally pressed the A button. Oh well. That's not really too much of a problem. I mean, that's fine. That still didn't do a whole lot. Wow. Okay, right, Golden's already poisoned. Um, I mean, I guess, sure, I can just go this way. <laughs> you keep using that because you're pretty much out of everything. I, w I disabled your other move. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. 
Let's use Flamethrower. I'm gonna go to the front now. And I'm actually gonna set Flamethrower now. And use it. Okay, well we did it. That's Shadow Ball, by the way. And that's a Radar Orb? Okay. Oh, you picked it up. That's funny. Do I want that Shadow Ball, though? I'm thinking here if I actually need that or not. Oh yeah, I can link your moves again with this Link Buff. I totally forgot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is eat an apple here. And then grab that. Okay, so I need to get the hell out of this place. As soon as possible, pretty much. The stairs are right there, yes. And no enemies here, no enemies. What is this? Secret power. I'm just gonna grab that and go. Yeah, let's go. That was rough, man. And if this keeps happening, we are... Because again, it's essentially RNG. We could land on monster house. It's called a monster house. We could land in monster houses three freaking like floors in a row, and there's not a darn thing we can do about it except battle them all. And it sucks, I know, but that's okay. That wasn't that powerful. Okay, but yeah, that's that's how it goes in roguelike. You know, it's sometimes there's just a lot of luck-based implementations into the game, and there's not much you can do about it. Tail whip. I mean, the good thing, the only good thing from all of that is that I got a shitload of experience. Swords Dance. Yeah, get rid of that, actually. It actually is better to pair that with, like, Bite or something. Actually, see, because this game came out around the same time that Generation 4 came out, Diamond and Pearl. So I don't actually remember... If in this game, the physical special split already exists, as in, is a move like Bite a special in this game or physical in this game? I don't know. In Gen 3, it would be special. In Gen 4 onwards, it would be physical. So I don't really know. Thunderbolt. I mean, that would be good. If I actually had a good Electro Tower, I have Magnemite, but I haven't really been using him, you know? Okay, let's proceed. Just please, no more Monster Houses. Please, no more. Okay, that's dead. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so I'm down to... Pretty much... Oh my god, don't do that. Here's my last Flamethrower. I can afford to run the PP though because they're not linked anyway, so that's fine at the moment. Now I need to set my scratch. But yeah, I'm out. I'm out of PP. I need to use the Max Elixir very soon. I don't want to use another one. Just attack normally and I should be fine. Yep. Perfect. Okay, that's very much needed. All these level ups are very well needed at the moment. Okay, so that's done. That, that room's done. I did not mean to do it once again. I keep moving a little too fast. I shouldn't be doing that. I cannot afford to give them first attack. Luckily, I did a normal attack two times in a row, so that's okay. Sand attack. Oh my god, just find the damn stairs, dude. Seriously? God damn it, my accuracy's down. Oh shit. I'm in trouble. And I cannot find the freaking stairs, man. There they are. Oh, thank god. Okay, there's one more enemy. Okay, 
He's just wasting Swords Dance, freaking Absol. Oh my god. I mean, I was telling you, I am not kidding around with this dungeon, man. It is ridiculous. I was telling you, people. I was telling you. Uh, one thing I will do is actually heal here. Let's go. Dude, you're wasting your Swords Dance, Absol. Oh my god. Mud sport. Oh Jesus. Oh yes. Oh perfect. Uh, I'm actually no. I didn't mean to. God damn it. I didn't see that. Proceed. Yes. We are on the nineteenth floor now. Okay, no stairs, unfortunately. Getting hungry, I know. Okay, 19 belly. Okay, don't step on the freaking lava. Oh my god. Thank you. What? I might have PP for that too? Oh, shit. Okay, that's useless, Chick Rita, I'm just saying. I mean, well, here's the thing. I'm on the 19th floor. Oh, jeez. If I... Basically, what I'm trying to do is think to myself right now, is it worth using the Max Elixir? And I think it actually is, to be honest. I think it is. Because I can't survive this many more floors with that, so I'm just gonna have to take it. Thank you for missing. Um, the only thing is I need you to move forward. Oh, that actually worked. Never mind. Okay, what's over here? Another apple? I'll take the apple. I'm actually going to use it right now, too. Okay. 20th floor. Fifty damage. Twenty eight damage. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna go up this way. That was pointless. I'm gonna set fire spin. I mean, despite this being rocks, they uh oh my god. Wait, did you just Quick attack, Torchic? I mean, you missed, but... I need to take a look at that. I'm not sure if that would actually hit Torchic or not, if it would connect. I think it would hit Torchic because Razor Leaf had the same issue. Where it was actually ended up hitting me all the time. And that was very problematic. Stop missing your attacks, dude! You cannot afford to do that! I keep telling you. Oh, whoops. Absol stepped on that. Lowered your attack back to no neutral. What is this? Stamina ban. I'm not sure what that is, but I'll take a look at it right now on the next floor. 21st floor. Wait, that's not it. I was like, what the heck? Oh. I see. Good job, Absol. That was a good attack. <sighs> Thank you. Oh my god. That was scary. Here's an Onyx, which I need to kill. Harden. Okay, you wasted your turn, thank god. You're dead. 390 experience, though. Oh my god. Another Grimer. One shot it, thank god. Whew. Let's go, 22nd floor. Oh, 
Oh my god, I can't believe that you're not out of poison powder yet, Chikorita. <laughs> like, seriously? Damn. Nothing there. Let's just uh, keep going, I guess, north? Wait, I don't see any enemies. Why are you swords dancing, Absol? Here's a TM. That's a roar. I don't really care about that. Oh wait, there's an Onyx right there, which I actually want to kill. Because I'm good in PP right now anyway, so it's, I think it's nice to- oh my- unless I miss, of course, which is a really big problem. You're still not dead, are you kidding me? Okay, there. 23rd floor. Okay, so after this floor, I think it's a break. It's a break room. Another Onyx. Dragon Breath. Oh my god. Because I need to switch back because you can't actually do that. Shikorita cannot attack. Stop missing. Seriously though. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. Almost there, man. Almost there. I'm pretty sure that you can handle that, right, Absol? Yes, you got it. Okay. Oh my god. Absol, follow me. Yeah, like I was saying, such a such a dangerous area, right? Now I'm pretty sure that you get what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set a flamethrower now. You've gotta be kidding me, mean, unless you miss too. Man. Man, though. Okay, we made it. Break room. My freaking god. Okay, now what I'm actually going to do here... Wait, how do I... Do I have to make... I think I have to make you hold the item. Maybe. Magma Cavern Pit. Oh boy. Okay, Chikorita, you deal with the Onyx with your Razor Leaf. Actually, one thing I should do right now, before I forget, is go to move and actually uh, enable that as well. Yeah. Let me also go to item, though. Okay, so now I can actually use it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Whew. Got it. Mm-hmm. Totally done. Oh, wait, that takes a turn, though. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, you missed two, though. That's fine. That's all the damage you did? Are you kidding me? You also learn to move. That's okay. I mean, that's that's nice. <laughs> Another onyx, huh? Just raise the leaf, and please. Thank you. 
All right, let's take a look at um yeah, this way. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Seriously, need to stop this, man. There's just way too many misses in this game. Makes the game a little too luck-based, IMO. And I guess in many people's O's as well. I'm going up here. Or, yeah, that's actually fine. Kill him. Wait, what do you mean you took no damage? Oh, you've missed. That's why. Of course. I mean, what else was going to happen? Did you just miss again? God. Okay, can I please just find a freaking exit? There's literally only one floor. And I cannot find the stairs. I don't even care about the money. I just avoided that money over there. Because I was way too far in my way. And I was like, screw it. Oh my god, if I just went up north, it would have been there. Well... I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna give... I might as well give you this, because it's actually a little bit better for the boss battle, you know? Might as well. And let's just pray to god that we can actually do this. Oh wait, I think there's one more floor. Wait, no, no, we're actually there. Okay, yep. Okay. It's over. Hmm. Oh, damn. They actually made it all the way down, though. Still battling. There's Alakazam, so it's you. Stay back. This opponent is no laughing matter. Here it comes. Oh, what? Um... How did you just get randomly taken, man? Okay, so there's Groudon. Um... Now, the weather is sunny. Keep that in mind, because it actually buffs the power of fire-type attacks, which is really good for torching. Um, as far as moves go, though, for, um... Chikorita here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and disable this for this battle. I want you to spam that razor leaf Chikorita from range. Um, in the meantime, wait, straight line. What do moves like? Like razor leaf say? Oh no, no. Straight line. Which means I can actually use Flamethrower from here, I'm assuming. And then what is this? Quick attack? Oh, up to two tiles ahead. Okay, so if I do this, I should be able to attack you, right? 77 damage. This is actually really good because there's Sun and I have Flamethrower, which is a ranged attack. Now, Chick Reader, why aren't you actually attacking? You're supposed to phase ground and then use spam razor light, dude. What is wrong with you? Okay, I need to move like Absol, why didn't you move forward, you idiot? Okay, because of that. Okay, if you're not an idiot, then never mind. Okay, yeah, keep attacking Chikorita, you have reflect up. This is actually not gonna be hard at all. It's not. Okay, unless I miss my good attacks. That would have done good damage. That's super effective, man. That didn't actually do a whole lot. Hmm. Okay. Well, that made up for the miss of Razor Lee. Now you missed your attack, too. I'm gonna switch to this. Fifty-one. It's a little weaker, but it has a chance to trap you. Oh, you're dead already. That was actually quite simple. I don't know how Alakazam, Tyranitar, and especially Charizard. Why, how, how didn't you beat him, man? Really? Just spam your flamethrower like what Torchic did. 
Well, yeah, we did it. We defeated Groudon. Apparently so. I see. Yep, another quake. Having calmed Groudon, Shiny's team left the dungeon and returned to Pokemon Square together with Alakazam's team. Yeah, let's save. And in the square. Is Shiny's team almost here? Look, here they come. Wait, see, I thought all of these guys went with me. I guess not. Oh, well, wait, how did they already know? Maybe they kind of did go with us, but not all the way, I don't know. Oh, that's what happened, okay. Thank you, everybody. Team up sometime? Yeah. Oops. Oh my god. A Torchic and a Chikorita and an Absol defeated a Groudon. Well, I mean, Absol is actually pretty formidable in attack, but in general it's a pretty bad Pokemon because its other stats are pretty bad. But still, the three of us defeated a Groudon. That would never happen in the Pokemon game, man. You heard it too. Me too. Even now I hear it. Someone talking? Not sure. This voice! I've heard it before! This voice! I'm sure... That's it! It's Satu! Satu? Ah, oh, telepathy! That's what's happening! Who are you, Yoda again? Terrible it is, you're saying. Whoa. A giant is falling. It falls straight to us, you're saying. Okay then. What is that? Oh my god. Disasters in nature. There were many. The balance of the world. It has been upset. All because of the star. The star that slowly comes closer. Wow. That's a good question, Alakazam. If not, we'll get crushed. Rayquaza. Okay. Hmm. But are you sure, Alakazam asks? I mean, we did just defeat Groudon. Shouldn't be that much more difficult to defeat Rayquaza, right? Prepare for your journey. I mean, yeah, let's let's prepare. All right. Um. Um. Yeah, but wait. Oh shoot. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm gonna say that for next time, because I am pretty much done here. So, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great and fantastic day.